right, turn to the forecast now with meteorologist Tammy Sousa. Oh, look at that skyline behind you, Tammy. Good yeah, morning. Well, can you see it? It's, it's Barely. A, it is obscured. Yeah, we've got that uh, low cloud deck out there, a little patchy fog, and we do have raindrops on the lens. We're still looking at the rain making its way through the area. The temperatures are mild, so that's a bonus. It's 57 right now at the big airport. Uh, the winds are out of the east and northeast to nine, and we continue to see showers at, at times, very steady to heavy showers making their way through the area. Right now, we're looking at a line of heavier showers moving through Wilmington toward Philadelphia, extending all the way down through South Jersey toward uh, perhaps Stone Harbor, making their way toward Atlantic City. So just be prepared for another very brief little downpour or steady rain and ponding on the roadways if you're going out this morning. Here is the future weather, the timing of what's going to go on. Now, as we watch this lift off to the north of us, it is associated with a warm front that is pushing northward, and that's going to bring temperatures into the 70s. It's going to usher in warmer air today. The front will stall out somewhere across the Poconos, maybe the Lehigh Valley, and this afternoon we're going to get into something called the dry slot. So we'll see a little bit of sunshine maybe like yesterday, sort of a milky sky out there. That'll percolate the atmosphere. That'll be later this afternoon. I won't rule out a spotty shower or a thunderstorm this afternoon, but I think the best chance of all that moves back in this evening as we see a cold front then approach the area. We could see some gusty thunderstorms form across the area. Mind you, these could be anywhere, so don't fixate on the fact that it looks like South Jersey and into Philadelphia. This could just as easily be up in parts of the Lehigh Valley, and this will be during the evening hours, exiting by very late tonight. Tomorrow, it looks like we'll see plenty of sunshine at times, and then we'll see more rain making its way into the area. All of this has gone on Tuesday, but that huge system, it takes its time moving through the area. So we are going to see spotty showers on and off all week. Now, we're also going to talk about visibility. Atlantic City, one mile visibility right now. You get up here to Long Island in New York, they are having less than a quarter mile visibility. So we do have fog issues right down along the shore. We saw that yesterday on the boardwalk with people walking in the fog. Dense fog advisory through 9 o'clock this morning. Quarter mile visibility, and that's right down here on all of the shore points. So we're not seeing this in Philadelphia, but I do want you to be aware of that if you're going to be down the shore. Here is that huge system rotating around the Midwest, not going anywhere, kicking the fronts in our direction. This thing is going to take its sweet time moving in our direction because it is blocked by high pressure to the north and the east over northeastern Canada. So here we go. We're going to roll through what happens. We finally get into Tuesday and things are quiet, quiet into the beginning of Wednesday, but Wednesday night into Thursday, here comes that system finally making its way offshore. I'm not sure we'll hang on to the showers Friday, but there is the possibility that we could see something early in the morning. 74 out there for today. It is going to be mild. We'll see the showers coming to an end this morning and thunderstorms possibly rumbling later this afternoon and this evening. 51 tonight, we're going to be looking at the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm. Then we go into our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yes, the chance of a spotty shower on and off each day. Temperatures are back to where they should be in the low 60s. I'm going to leave Friday and Saturday dry for now, hoping that that thing is going to scoot out of here, that big upper level low. Once it gets going and high pressure lets it go, <laughs> it's going to be offshore. We're going to keep our fingers crossed mm -hmm. for that, Jen. We're all hoping it scoots fast.